An AEW star has criticised the current creative in the company. A popular AEW star is returning soon, and a former WWE faction is set to reunite. Stay tuned for the news. But first, during the Fastlane pre-show, if you change the channel, you might have seen a shock title change on AEW Collision. We've got new AEW Tag Team Champions. was not expecting to be talking about this uh, this morning. Um, FTR dropping at the tag gold to Ricky Starks and Big Bill. Um, so Starks and Bill dominated most of what turned out to be a very brief match indeed, mostly two on one after Bill chokeslammed Cash Wheeler through the announce table. Uh, fast forward a little bit, new Tag Team Champions. Uh, so yeah, this really sort of did come out of nowhere. I think a lot of people are expecting this to be not a throwaway match, but certainly not a title change match. Uh, but yeah, new tag team champions um, <laughs> crowned on the show. Well, I've, I mean, I feel happy for them. I think Ricky cool. Sox absolutely deserves something like this and Big Bill, someone, you know, who's had a tremendous comeback story. What a story. To get a title within AEW is really, really cool. I think a lot of us, me uh, included, thought that it was going to be a no-brainer that going into full gear, it would be the Young Bucks versus FTR for the tag team titles. But I mean, this has definitely shaken things up quite a bit. Massively so. Um, a lot of people are speculating because of something that went on Twitter afterwards from Dax, the FTR are set to leave the company. And I think some of that is fueled by the recent copyright or the trademark registration yep. of CMFTR. Uh, people suspecting that, hey, maybe they're going elsewhere, wherever CM Punk may end up. Mm -hmm. um, he put on Twitter, what a run, love you all, top guys out. Uh, so everybody obviously jumped on this. It's like, oh, are they, are they done? Uh, he clarified afterwards, just in case you see it reported elsewhere, guys, I say top guys <laughs> out all the time. We ain't going nowhere. This is our home. They are reportedly signed for a fair while longer in AEW. Um, as far as the reason for the shock title change goes, there is speculation, according to Fightful Select, uh, that Cash could be injured um, after it appeared so in the match at Wrestle Dream, uh, and also he didn't take any offense tonight either. We don't have confirmation on that from anywhere at the moment, so we will see what happens there. But, you know, do you enjoy the run? Yeah, um, I think they're always a tremendous tag team. They always have great matches as well. I always like to see what they do. I'm excited, though, for the new era of Ricky Starks and Big Bill, however. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see what they best do. Hopefully they do something good. Seriously, seriously, best of luck to them. Uh, as I say, came out of nowhere, but this could be the start of something great. Optimistic about it. Yes. Uh, next up, if you are watching the WWE pay-per-view tonight, premium live event, you will already know that we have seen the return proper this time of Carlito Caribbean Cool. Carlito joining uh, Team LWO. Yep. Um, at the very last minute. Very last. Where was he? <laughs> Where he was certainly he? wasn't in the fast lane, was he? Stuck in traffic somewhere. Um, so yeah, he, he came out, was victorious in the match. I, I guess it's not being confirmed just yet that he's LWO proper, but... I, we can assume so, because we saw him in Puerto Rico way. as well come out, didn't he, in the match too? And like, it just... Yeah, it, it felt him. like, it if felt there's like a place it's the right for, fit for him. Yeah, if there's a place for him on that roster, it's probably in that group yeah. right now. Uh, an update from PW Insider. He is going to be on SmackDown, so he's almost certainly going to be a part of the LWO moving forward. Mm -hmm. Great to see him back. He's looking amazing. Obviously, we did see, uh, see him in Puerto Rico uh, a little while ago. He looks even bigger. It's insane. <laughs> we were saying this while we were watching it. Like, I don't remember him being that big. He bulked up a lot post-WWE. He bulked up an awful lot, um, but he, he looks bigger and better than ever. Seriously, he really he looks does. amazing. I think he's, he's going to be a great fit for that group. Looking forward to seeing him on SmackDown. That's cool. Uh, next up, um, Ricky Starks has criticized uh, some current AEW creative. Um, so during an interview on the Battleground podcast, uh, Starks was questioned about the possibility of aligning a a with the BCC, which he responded by expressing his exhaustion with factions in AEW. We are one and the same, Ricky Starks. He said, I don't know, I'm sick of groups. I really am. I'm tired of groups. I'm tired of factions. Everybody has a faction. Everybody has a group. So annoying. I would say thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to join the BCC. I don't want to have to walk around wearing those jackets. <laughs> Everyone's bleeding. There's a lot of blood. The exchange of bodily fluids. It's just a lot. It's a lot. I'm too handsome to be hardcore, but I'm too hardcore <laughs> to be handsome sometimes. It's partly in character, yeah. but I feel like that opening stuff about the factions uh, might be seeded in reality more than a little. Yeah, there's there's 
been a few, to say the least, uh, factions in AEW that just haven't landed um, in the way that I think they obviously hoped they would do. Mm -hmm. uh, QTV, you know, with Powerhouse Hobbs being in there, it looks like Hobbs is away from that now and being part of the Don Callis family, which feels like a better fit for him personally. And something it's an upgrade, that, I'd say. Yeah, an upgrade for sure. So I don't blame him at all. I think, uh, I mean, it goes to show that I say going off on your own. I mean, he's in a he's got the tag team titles now with Big Bill. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm, but uh, still, he's doing still, all right. Yes, he's doing yeah. all right. As I say, partly in character, perhaps. Uh, so make up your own minds on that one. Just in case you missed it on AEW Rampage this week, a vignette was showcased. The beloved fan favorite Danhausen looks to be making his return rather soon. Um, highlighting uh, the, the vignette highlighting a very nice very evil personality including the <laughs> message coming very soon it'll be interesting to see what goes on there obviously now with orange cassidy shacked up yeah with hook oh maybe we get good obviously we had Hookhausen as well maybe it's a time for another faction why not why get not? ricky starks in Come there he'd, oh, love it. he'd love it so much <laughs> so it'd be great to see dan Housen back yeah, for sure he's something very very different uh on aew programming i've missed him i've missed him and i feel like even since being in AEW uh slash ring of honor right it, it feels like they've not really capitalized on him too much either they've had him out for little bits here and there is obviously you know i think he teamed he even team with FTR at one point in a match uh stuff with uh, Hook as well but th there's still so much more that they can do with Dan Housen and I hope now that he's come back uh, or coming back at least anyway uh, we can see him get there reach that potential have some so. more matches and some some more good stuff he's not to everybody's taste he's not I like him I think personally. he's still a good wrestler like, oh yeah you know? for sure yeah. yeah he's you know what part of me's like oh he's doing what makes him money like people are so into yeah. the gimmick Think about the merch sales, and right? And that's what he's all about. He wants the money. Yeah. He wants you to send him big sacks of money, everybody. Exactly. Uh, sticking with stable news now, Bobby Lashley's yet unnamed stable might be getting a new member per Fightful Select. Um, Odyssey Jones. Odyssey Jones um, was recently brought up in conversations as being a potential member of that stable. So... Uh, you might not remember this. I didn't remember this. He was actually drafted to Raw during the 2023 WWE draft. I've got no what? recollection of that at all. That's mad. He's main roster, right? He's main roster. He yeah. hasn't made any televised appearances for that brand. Uh, he's been involved in several dark matches for the SmackDown brand mm. in recent times. So maybe don't expect to see him on Raw anytime soon. Well, but I mean, maybe expect to see him on background. Yeah, well, I guess if he's aligning with Bobby Lashley and the Profits, right? They're yeah, on right. SmackDown too. Yep. So it makes sense. I think he's a tremendous talent. He's not really been used too much this year i don't believe uh, i feel like they had a little bit of stock in him because he was one of the finalists in the breakout tournament along with carmelo hayes who won um in that match as well and won that tournament so he's got he's so athletic and he's got some really cool looking finishing moves and stuff as well uh there's already like a lot of muscle within that group but someone he's even a he's even bigger and a little bit more imposing do you think as well well i i think it's tough to be more imposing than Bobby Lashley. Well, isn't yeah, it? that's true. I like the fact that there are three levels to that faction. If mm. they go ahead with Odyssey Jones, you've got the vet in Bobby in Lashley, Bobby, right? Yeah. You've got the Street Profits who have been there for some time mm -hmm. now, an established main roster act, and then you've got the new up and comer. That's I think a, everybody yeah. benefits. I like that. As a result of that, mm. I think that that could be quite a good fit. And he is good. He is good. The stuff that he can do as a big man. Yes. Pretty damn impressive. It I is impressive. Uh, we finish off with more stable news. <laughs> <which> <laughs> we love a good even... stable. We as might as well happened. be a horse house here. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> What's he, what's horse. He, horse, he said horse. Horse house. Horse, house. <laughs> no. horse. horse house. Jesus. Horse house. A former WWE stable set to reunite on the indies as announced by Progress Wrestling. Eric Young, Big Damo, formerly known as Killian Dane, and Axel Tischer, formerly known as Alexander Wolfe, collectively known as Sanity, are going to be teaming together at Progress's Chapter 136. Are they on 136 already? Wow. Vendetta on November 26th at the Electric Ballroom in Camden. Now, uh, Tisha and Young uh, have competed alongside each other outside of WWE, um, and Tisha and Damo teamed up at a previous Progress show, but not since their WWE days have they all teamed together. No Nikki Cross, 
unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, but those three, hey, that's the that's the main roster sanity. You're getting the it main is. roster sanity, not oh. the NXT sanity. Oh. You're getting the not good sanity. Well, hopefully it'll be better <laughs> than what they got to do on the main roster, at yeah, least I'm anyway. Sure I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it'll be good. So if you are in the area and fancy seeing Shane McMahon's boys, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I sure do. I love them. I think they're so good. I think they were so wasted on the main roster. They were. They More really were. More than wasted. More than wasted. That's it from us. Thank you very much to everybody who joined us for live reactions, by the way, tonight. I, I really like that show. It was Genuinely great. really liked Amanda it. opener was so good. Yeah, right. The last few openers on these WWE pay-per-views, mwah, yes. sublime. For sure. Um, it's, been a, it's been a good night of wrestling. Stay tuned for uh, WTF. What Happened That is already on the channel if you want to check that out. And enjoy the rest of your weekends. We'll see you when we see you. See ya, take care in a bit.